holy shit, Facebook. That's a disastrous hairdo. Hold on a second. You know what I love about haters, though, Facebook, is they are just pathetic. They are just pathetic. They have no life. They live to be miserable turds. I mean, I go, and I, I have a life outside of YouTube, and so I actually have a life outside of social media, you know? These people don't. It seems like these people just live to hate and be miserable. It's sad, man. It really is. So, I might need to make a trip to go collect some sticks for my next batch of wands. And I'll need to grab my duffel backpack looking bag and my uh, branch cutters, you know, go in there and uh, get some more sticks to make wands. Uh, so I went to a, f yeah. I mean, I go to friends' houses sometimes and hang out, whatever, you know? I actually have a life outside of social media. But it feels like these haters don't, you know? Facebook, it really does. It feels like these haters have no life outside of social media. It feels like their solid, their solid life is nothing but sitting behind a keyboard and talking shit. That's what it feels like. Facebook, and it's just sad. It really is. Like, all the racial and homophobic bullshit. Like, come on, B. You know, and it's pathetic. People have nothing better to do with their lives than talk shit. Well, guess what? I can talk shit, too. Only nine times out of ten, most people don't like it when I do talk shit, so... Yeah. There you go. Uh, I need to wake up anyways because I got sticks to collect. Normally, I don't work on wands over the weekends. But because I didn't collect sticks yesterday, I kind of like have to do that today. Uh, Cobra Craft Wands, baby. Make the finest handmade wands. Because they're real. That's the thing of it. It's my wands are real. Yeah. Trust and belief. Facebook. Real wands for a real affordable price. You can't beat that. I might, I might, I might just make a trip to Evansville on my bike and go to the mills smoke shop and get a big old bag of tobacco. So that way I'm not digging through ashtrays, Facebook. Because digging through ashtrays, man, people just look at you. You know what I'm saying? They look at you when you're digging through ashtrays like, oh, yeah, he's definitely out of tobacco, and he's definitely a filthy smoker. That's so disgusting. And I look at them, I'm like, okay, you know what's more disgusting than me digging out, digging out of an ashtray? What's more disgusting than me digging out of an ashtray? The fact that men and women get paid different wages. The sexist wage gap. That's disgusting. <laughs> like, it's ridiculous, Facebook. And I think the biggest problem with this, Facebook, honestly, 
is that society has conditioned men to constantly always have to be in charge, you know? Society has put this negative, negative stigma attached to being a male that, you know, we're always supposed to be in charge and blah, 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 blah. Fuck that, man. Fuck that, Facebook. Our society has conditioned men from our, men from our, men from a certain age that, oh, you gotta toughen up, you know, you know, it's bullshit. Complete and utter bullshit. Step off camera for a second. <sighs> And because of that conditioning, a lot of men get really insecure when the women in their lives make more money because society has taught men to feel incompetent when they're doing less than their female counterpart. And it's bullshit. You can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't just be supportive of your woman and be like, you know, life's expensive. You gotta pay bills. So if she's making more money, that's they're like paying the bills easier, you know. Because when you got a girlfriend, it's a team effort, one hundred percent. I'm just saying. There we go. Throw on some black jeans and make my bed. Yeah. There we go. Cool beans. I'm just saying, Facebook. <laughs> Society has put men into this stereotypical gotta always make more money, gotta always be in charge, gotta suck it up and quit quit being a crybaby mentality, you know? I mean sometimes in life you just you know, and this goes for both sexes. Sometimes you just gotta suck it up, you know? This doesn't just go for men, this also goes for women. Sometimes in life, oh, I need to get more tape, man. The poster's coming off. Ugh. Sometimes in life, you just, you know, it's not fair that we have these sexist double standards. The shit pisses me off. There should be equality for everyone, not just men and women, but minorities too. Like, I'm sick of it. Like, it's 20 fucking 18, and there's still. These issues, like it's bullshit. Facebook, it, it is bullshit. Oh man, do I have any tobacco left in this? Oh, uh, <laughs> that's not a pretty sight. I was going to keep that bag for snipe tobacco, that way if I ever run out, just, you know, but that didn't work out so well. It's like you always just smack these idiots upside the head with this spike collar, just re repeatedly. Like, hey... You know, and there's nothing wrong with a woman making more money or the same. You know, it really isn't, you know, because for once in a lifetime, you know what I'm saying? It's just ridiculous. It is just ridiculous. But you know what? It's ridiculous, Facebook. It really is. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ooh, hold on a second. I might have a small bowl of tobacco on my other pipe. Hold on a second. Scoop that up. It should be equal pay for both sexes. That's just the way I see it. And then people will be like, well, then join a union. Okay, now here's the thing. Here's the thing. Nothing against unions, but you shouldn't have to join a goddamn union to have equal pay for both sexes. That's just that's bullshit. No offense to union workers. No offense to union workers. No offense to union workers. I'm just saying. 
it's one thing, Facebook, it's one thing if, okay, that other person has been with that company for a lot longer. You know what I'm saying, Facebook? It's one thing, but if that, if that person hasn't been with that company any longer than you have, why aren't you all getting paid the same amount of money? I mean, if you have the same experience, you've been with that company for the same amount of time, it doesn't make any sense. And furthermore, Facebook, there is no reason for groceries and health care coverage to cost an arm and a leg. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. I mean, you wonder why so many Americans are choosing fast food and they go through with no insurance for their hospital and shit because healthcare is way too fucking expensive. I mean, I go to the grocery store the other day. I get, what, maybe six bags worth of groceries. I wouldn't count the seventh one because the seventh one pretty much just had spray paint in it and stuff for making wands. And, okay, six to seven bags worth of stuff at Walmart, 125 bucks. That is ridiculous. That is beyond ridiculous. And I didn't get that much. I got some bacon, some cheeseburgers, some cheese, some sauce, some pepperoni, some sardines, some soda, some pizza dough. Stuff to make bacon, cheeseburgers, and pizzas. Now, granted, I only bought like two pre-rolled crusts. Two. That's it. And I also bought some toilet paper. A very small thing of toilet paper. And some spray paint, some Mod Podge, some leather string. And some super glue and it literally costed me 125 bucks holy shit that is beyond ridiculous oh I see someone found the negative react button yeah that is beyond ridiculous healthcare coverage and groceries should not have to cost an arm and a leg. That is bullshit. <coughs> God damn it. Mm. Uh. <coughs> hmm. Hey, Trey. So, what's up, man? Trey says, You get any condoms? <coughs> Bro, I haven't had sex in over a year. Why the hell would I need condoms? <laughs> man, fuck the dating scene in this town. Like, seriously. Yeah, it would help if we could have, like, more females move to the States so it would, like, even things out a bit. But, because uh, right now, as it sits, it feels like there's more dudes in Wyoming than there is chicks, and that kind of sucks. Yeah. I mean, there's a chick I want to ask out as soon as I can, but, like... Right now, I'm not in a position where I can just date, you know, I'm going to learn to control my temper a little bit better and have more confidence in myself, you know. And when you're, when you're used to having a temper and you're used to not having confidence, something like that, changing a habit like that isn't going to happen overnight. It'd be nice if it did, but... 
And the nice thing about this is that there's a bike trail literally right by my bank. And I can take that bike trail all the way to Evansville. And that bike trail will lead me straight to the middle of smoke shop with no issues. I mean, it's a simple fact. I can get a dick through ashtrays to fill up one bag <coughs> full of snipe tobacco, but the chances that some of these snipes are going to be dry, eh, a little slim to none. Some of the snipes are going to probably be wet, more than likely, just because we've had some snow, knock on wood, but not a whole lot of snow. So it'd be better while I'm out and about collecting sticks to just go and get some tobacco. That way I'm not digging through ashtrays and shit. I mean, you can spend 15 bucks and get like three packs of smokes. Or you can get a whole big ass bag of tobacco. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just, you know, pipe tobacco ends up being a lot cheaper. Less chemicals, a lot cheaper. But sometimes smoking a pipe is a pain in the ass. I'm not going to lie. Your stem clogs up, so you're like, oh, shit. So you're grabbing your pipe cleaners, your paper clip, your pipe tool, and you're poking it through and cleaning it. And you pack your bowl too tight, so you got to loosen the tobacco up. You know what I'm saying? But you can keep your hands warm in the wintertime with a pipe. Your, hand, your pipe gets nice and hot from smoking out of it, and you do this number. You can't do that with cigarettes. Hooey. And of course, because I have the cojones to post a video of me singing Facebook, because I have the cojones to post a video of me singing, it gets a lot of hate. And primarily that video gets a lot of dislikes because people can't comment on it. Like if you're going to dislike someone's video just because you can't comment on them, dude, you're not a true watcher. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you don't watch someone's... You, seriously, I, I sound like a broken record at this point. But you don't watch someone's YouTube videos just to leave a comment. You watch the videos to watch the videos, you know? That's what I feel like. Hold on a second. I might have... Ooh. Cool beans, dude. I remember for a while back, or a couple of days ago, I should say, I packed a bowl of tobacco in this other pipe right here that the fan sent me, oh, not the handmade one here, and um, uh, there we go, much better. I like to leave the window open when I'm smoking. I like to leave the window open when I'm smoking in here so that way the tobacco smell doesn't just, you know. But, um, yeah. I'll find a way to get to Evansville so I can get a bag of tobacco. Which is... You know, that's better than digging out of ashtrays, to be honest. I'd rather avoid, like, if you're a smoker, 
avoid digging out of ashtrays and unless you're desperate i mean like super fucking desperate you know that's all i'm getting at I mean, these literally half-pound bags of tobacco for like 15 bucks, dude. That's enough to roll two and a half cartons worth of cigarettes. That's not bad. So that's actually smart shopping. I went for a bike ride last night, and lo and behold... <laughs> to and from, you know, and uh, eh, the sidewalks are still clear enough that I can ride my bike. But by next month, that could change. So I like to get as much bike riding done as I can. It's good exercise, and that bike is pretty sweet. <laughs> Wacky tobacco shops. <laughs> I wish. <sighs> Now, usually when I go to a, usually when I go to Colorado to smoke with friends, I, I've never had much interest in going to the shops just because I wasn't buying anything. And as weird as that sounds, but when I went to the Aussie concert in Denver, Colorado, I picked up like. From what I remember, one gram in a joint, and uh, I smoked the pre-rolled joint after the concert, and then smoked that unrolled gram at before the concert and after it. I mean, that always trips, trips me out when I go to Colorado. You can just walk down the street puffing on a joint and no one will say shit. As long as you're not near a school or near a dispensary, no one's going to say shit, dude. It's awesome. <laughs> I wish the rest of the world could be like that. I really do. If the rest of the world was like that, holy shit, dude. We'd be living in a much better place. I think if marijuana were legal everywhere and there wasn't such a negative stigma attached to smoking it, then I think the society we live in would be a much better place. But that's just my opinion. You're going to tell people that it's bad to smoke weed, but you'll gladly shove Oxycontin prescriptions down their throat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck that shit. Uh, Dragon Bacon Cheeseburger, 71% uploaded. I didn't mean to make that video an hour long, but there you go. I might make a sushi pizza later. We'll see how I'm feeling. No, I didn't, Joseph. No, I didn't.
Ryan says, I'm outside my local dispensary right now. I'll smoke a joint for you. Hell yeah, man. Although I wouldn't smoke it directly outside the dispensary because you don't want them to lose their license. I'd, I'd at least go like four or five blocks down the street before you smoke it. Yeah. I was about to when I bought my my uh, joint for the concert. I was gonna smoke like maybe a third of it and then put it out because I've seen some people standing outside smoking, and this dude come out and started yelling at the other two. He didn't really yell at them. He's just like, "If you better not spark it up here, blah 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 blah." I'm like, "All right, man. Thanks for the heads up." And yeah. Josh, why can't you go to the liquor store down the street to get tobacco? Why do you have to go to Evansville? Well, I could buy like one or two packs of smokes down the street, yes. There's a couple liquor stores. But the reason why I'm going to Evansville is because you can get a big ass bag of tobacco for like 15 bucks. That's not too shabby, dude. That is not too shabby at all. That's actually smart shopping, actually. For real, why the mill smoke shop, Cobes? Why do you people care where I get my tobacco? That's what I, for real, that's what I'm getting at. And it's not that far of a ride if you take the bike path. It's good exercise. I'm 27 years old, damn it. And, you know, if I stay consistent with my exercise, riding my bike and walking when I can, you know, it'll be, a, it'll be good for me. Yeah. Well, there is the outlet liquor and tobacco. Yes, I can get pipe tobacco from them. But the pipe tobacco they have are the outlet liquor stores like your Beer Crumb Riff and your Captain Black. Little pouches of tobacco. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, the Mill Smoke Shop, however, you get a big bag. Kind of like this one, you know? big bags of tobacco like this one for like 15 bucks. You can't beat that. Hmm. Because Evansville and Mills are practically the same subdivision. Brody, that's why. Hmm. You know, I have seen some of Walmart's tobacco prices, and they don't really carry. Well, Walmart used to carry this top value cherry pipe tobacco. It came in a big red bag, and it was so good. But they quit carrying it. What will you do after you get pipe tobacco? Well, I'm going to collect me some sticks. This is what I'm going to do. That way I can get another batch of wands started. And I'll probably just do batches of 10 because they take less time to finish. That way I can get them out and sold quicker, you know. Maybe around Christmas time I'll make a bigger batch just because they'll give more people a chance to buy. But I'll do like two batches of 10 this month, or at least try to, yeah. <sighs> Q 
course, you see me make an outside video by the mill smoke shop. I gave them a, a plug on my channel a while back. Of course, I might have deleted that video when I went video deleting crazy. Can you make a gingerbread wand? <laughs> Where are you going to get a pouch at? Well, this wouldn't be a pouch of pipe tobacco. This would be a solid bag. And I'll be going to the mill smoke shop to get it. Well, I appreciate the incentive to re Saxton, but um, I'm not too worried about getting a phone right now, to be honest. Don't get me wrong, the Ash Cigar Store is pretty good. But I'm in the mood for some of that dry cigarette cut tobacco, if you know what I mean. Does Casper Cigar, does Casper Cigar Company sell good pouch tobacco? Honestly, I do not know. I've never been inside that shop before. Every time I go by there to see if um if they're open, they're usually closed. I'm sure they do though if I were to go in there and check it out. You ever try snuff or snooze? Yes, I have. What do you think? I'm a tobacco connoisseur. Of course I've tried it. Hmm. It says they close at 4 p.m. today. Huh. Well, it wouldn't hurt to go look. Casper Cigar Company. See what Here it is. is. Casper Cigar Company. Yeah, thank you, Google. You're so helpful. Hmm. That's over by Smith's, which isn't too bad. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think, huh. I don't think they uh, sell pipe tobacco by the pouch. I could be wrong though. Maybe I'm not seeing. Oh, look at that. They got, uh, I got some pipe tobacco to choose from, it looks like. Hmm. Noise. Huh. Interesting. Interesting.
very interesting. They look like they got a nice selection. I'm not going to lie. I'm taking a look at uh, their pipe tobacco counter. And uh, not too shabby, man. Not too shabby. Hmm. Not a whole lot, Tom Andre, just uh chilling out. Maybe next time I have money for tobacco, I'll go and check out that the Casper Cigar Shop, but I'm pretty dead set on getting a bigger bag, you know, of dry cut cigarette style pipe tobacco, like Cherokee Black or some Four Aces, you know, yeah. go. I got my nicotine fix going. <clears throat> That yeah, that one's got tobacco in it. If you're gonna dig out of your ashtrays, you might as well just if you're gonna dig out of ashtrays, you might as well dig out of your own. That's what I'm getting at. There we go. There's that. Hmm. Looks like those are the only three in there, but. That's all right. We still got the goods right here. Right. Ugh, this belt buckle, man. This is a cool little ashtray too because it holds incense in the middle. those cigarette butts are those, those could have been in there for ages Oof. yeah it's tobacco but damn dude that is some stale shit <coughs>
But uh, that's my agenda for today. So, um, yeah, catch your cool cobras on the flip side. <laughs>